Hi again, here we are to continue talking about Xcode and uh, discussing the text field and how to work with the text field and the keyboard. Um, so in the last video, I created an example where we, um, we created a text field and the text field opens the keyboard and then when you hit the return key, it closes the keyboard, right? So here we can type into the text field here. I can hit return and the keyboard goes away. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to close the keyboard when you tap on one of these buttons, right? Right now that doesn't happen. Um, and then the other thing I'd like to do is if you tap anywhere outside here, I want the keyboard to close, okay? So what are we gonna do? Well, when you tap on a button, we're gonna get a message here from the cancel button, cancel button tapped, or we're gonna get a message here at the action for the save button tapped, okay? And what we can do is, I'll do it on the cancel button first. What you can say is you can say self.view.endEditing. So this is a little different than first res resign first responder, but essentially this sends a message to all of the subviews and says, hey, why don't you guys all resign first responder? So it just kind of, it's a blanket message to everybody saying like, hey, you guys are all going to just give up first responder because this view needs to end editing right now. And I, I, I'm not sure what the Boolean does here. Um, I think if you want to force it, you put in true to say like, yeah, no matter what, end editing. And if you le say false, then maybe some views can keep their first responder status if they think it's important. Um, I'm going to put in true here and say like, yeah, no matter what, you guys are going to end editing. Okay. Um, so there we go, right? Let's give that a test. And essentially what this is going to do is it's going to tell the text field to resign first responder. So it kind of does this, but in a more general way, right? So I'll test the, the project here. And there's my text field there, and I'll start typing. Start typing, and then I'll click the, uh, the cancel button, and the keyboard goes away, right? The save button doesn't do anything yet right because we didn't didn't do anything with that one but uh, anyway so we'll stop here and what we could do is we could you know paste this over here under save button tapped right um, now we're kind of duplicating the same code so it might be good for us to create sort of some helper methods so I'll say mark you know helper methods right and I could say function you know end um, Let's do uh, close keyboard. I don't know what you want to call this one. Um, but we could do this, and then we could take our code and, you know, put it here. And then maybe these two methods here could just say, you know, close keyboard, right? And then that way, if there was any other code we needed to do when you ended editing, we could put it here, and we'd know that, you know, everybody would be doing that and we wouldn't have to duplicate this, right? Or if we wanted to change the end editing thing from true to false, then, you know, we could we don't have to do it in two places. We just do it in one place, right? But anyway, there, that covers covers our two buttons, right? Um, so now this, the save button should also be able to close the keyboard. We'll give it a quick test. So I'll click in here, I'll type something in there. I'll click the save button. Hey, it looks like it's working. I'll type something else, click the cancel button, right? And then we also have the return key to close the keyboard. So that's working pretty good. Now what happens if you tap somewhere? Like how can we do that? Well, um, views can receive a, a touches began event. Okay, and this is kind of a raw touch event. It's not a, um, not one of the, um, uh, what are they, the gestures, like, like it's not a gesture, which is a little more involved touch event, okay? A touch is just like you made contact with the screen, okay? And um, what we can do is we can use the, like the view controller gets um, a few touch events. So if I just start typing touch here, you'll see um, it gets touches began, touches canceled, touches ended, touch touches estimated property update, touch is moved, right? So essentially a touch event, you know, or a swipe is a touch is began, a touch is moved, and a touch is ended, right? So you, you touch the screen at a location, drag your finger along the screen, and then let go or break contact with the screen. So that's kind of, you know, all three of those go into a swipe gesture or a pan gesture, okay? 
for us, none of that, none of that matters. We just want to know that you touch the screen, okay? So I'm going to use this touches began handler here. And um, what I want to do when touches begin is I want to close the keyboard, right? So uh, let's, let's put a mark here too for um, touch events, right? Okay, so over here, when um, touches began, then we'll just call the close keyboard function and hopefully that'll close the keyboard, right? So we'll, uh, we'll click on uh, the play button here. We'll type something into our keyboard there. I'll start typing in here, right? And then I'll tap anywhere on the screen and the keyboard closes, right? So anyway, I hope that's useful to you guys. Um, this is just like a couple simple ideas that maybe will help you out with your projects and, uh, you know, good luck with your projects.